Hey, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. So I'm painting another jacket for my cousin Ricardo. This is gonna be a little bit more masculine. I actually hate the word masculine. Like I think people should just like what they like. Things should not be for boys or for girls or vice versa. Like whoever whoever invented that pink was for girls and boys was blue, that's dumb. Like I think anybody should like what they like. Color has no gender and who cares? Like wear what you like. On the previous jacket, I've painted everything white with the gesso, but I don't want that with this one. I just want the skull to be painted. All of this, I want to remain the denim. So instead of the black Sharpie, because this is so dark, I'm using a paint marker by Sharpie as well. So I need to hold this down so it doesn't move. And then I'm gonna trace the outline. I put a cardboard underneath here, just so it doesn't get to the other side. I couldn't do this without you, Sharon. Thank you. I wouldn't be exposed to painting if it wasn't for you. I know, you've learned so much about painting almost. An artist. Year. And you're a videographer now. So this needs to be a little bit more precise, just because I want to conserve you know, the fabric, the way that it looks. And voila! There it is. I love it. So now I'm going to come in with this gesso and paint the inside of it. Only the inside. Oh, okay. So Why only the inside? Because I want to keep the the denim on the sides. Gotcha. This will be the only thing painted will be the inside. Gotcha. And I should be wearing my painting clothes, but I'm not. So hopefully I don't mess this up. My clothes up. Like I've ruined so much clothes just because I for Ah <laughs> That's not supposed to be there. Oh my god! What do I do? Get Dawn, there you go. You know what? Spit is good for lots of things. I guess. If you get my drift, like in the bedroom. <laughs> cute, very cute. Okay, maybe this brush is too big. You think? I feel scared now. Just because there's so many curves and stuff on that. Yeah, I'm not gonna use that. Thankfully, I have a smaller one here. This is a number 14, Master's Touch. <laughs> And it's angled. You can do a lot more precision work with an angled brush. Now, how long will it take for this to dry? I probably won't be able to paint on it till tomorrow. Okay, gotcha. Which I wanted to paint on it today, but I probably won't be able to. So this is going to be a lot of precision it's because it's going to be a very geometric skull. And I, I normally I like to play, paint free flowy things where there's room for error and such. Here there's not very much room for error. This jacket is easier because it's very sleek. Most jackets are a little bit rougher to paint on. Gotcha. I don't know if you remember, but the other one, it kind of took more work to get yes. the gesso in there. Yes. Uh -huh. This one's, um, it, it's applying a lot nicely. My plan is to make it very blue which is dumb because it's a boy's jacket blue for boys i know <laughs> oddly enough but blue is my favorite color mine too but you're a girl you're supposed to like pink i do like pink but i like blue you know what i like pink too i like hot pink i love pink i love all colors actually when i was a teacher like little kids would be like you can't use that that color is for girls wow and i'm like no it's not for girls anybody can like any color it doesn't matter but where do these little kids in kindergarten know Oh my gosh, that, that young, wow. Because their parents already told them, hey, you can't have this color or do this or do that because that's for boys or that's for girls. They learn it from their parents. Kids are not born with the notion that certain things are for boys and that certain things are for girls. That's a learned behavior. Kids also are not born with the notion of like, I'm not going to like you. They learn that from their parents. Well, it's just generation and generation. You know, you can't help certain things like that. Like it's funny, Just like, like boys shouldn't play with dolls. That's so dumb. My mom once told, uh, I was at home and my brother's son was playing with my niece's bar. These are dolls. And I was like, stop that. If your dad sees you, he's going to get mad. I'm like, mom, this little kid has no idea right. what he's playing with. I guess he wasn't even a year old. I'm like, he doesn't oh, wow. know what things are that boys or girls or that. They don't know that. 
they don't learn it until... And there's that stigma where a girl can play with the G.I. Joe and it's okay, but a boy can't play with the Barbie. And that's not okay. So you still have that stigma even that way, too. Like, when I was a little kid, I have ants that are twins. And I had a lot of farm animal toys, like little trucks and farm animals, which I loved. And it was okay for them to play with me, with my little toy trucks and cows and farm animals. But for me to play with their Barbies, do you think that was okay? No. Nope. I had to hide. And I love playing with Barbies. I mean, because I love fashion. I love clothes. I love, like, things like that. I admit I was one of those parents. But now do you see that that's... Oh, absolutely. Like, I, I just think kids should be able to experiment with what? With absolutely. Anything. Like, they should not be told, no, you can't do this. I think. Let them be them. Let them figure out what they want on their own terms and not based on your own preconceived notions of what. You're right. So hopefully that's dying down now and people are more cognizant that not everything's so black and white. I think I would be a great father, but I don't think that's in my cards. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think... The... I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. That's sad. Uh, the cards that I've been dealt, I don't think that's in them. You know, and the world's not a great place anyway. So. I know. We were so selfish when we had two girls. We were like, oh, we're so selfish for bringing kids in this world. Well, I think the idea of becoming a parent, it's based on a selfish act because you want to know what it's like to be a mother or you want to know what it feels like to be a father or because you want your legacy to continue. It's a selfish act. When you bring a kid into this world, they're not asked, hey, we're about to conceive you. Do you want to be right. brought into this world? Right. I would have said, no, thanks. I'll sit this one out. <laughs> All right. Oop, there it went. So now to let it dry, and then I'll come back and start doing all the geometric shapes. I don't know if I'm going to keep it exactly like this, but it is going to be very geometric. All right, so now I've drawn the skull. I added the geometric signs. I let it, did it a little bit different than the original design. Then I'm going to paint all this color. It's going to be different blues. When you draw with Sharpie, the black is going to show up. So I will not lose my lines after painting. And this is my mixing brush, so I'm just using it to get the color paint off of this brush and then I'll go with an angle brush for details. So now it's finished. Once it dries, the black lines will come back up and I'll start filling in the shapes with, with different shades of blue, green, and gray. I have already painted all the colors. This is what it's going to be. Now I'm going to dress it in black. I love it. I love the simplicity of it. I love how just how cool and chic it is. Loves it. So I finished my cousin's jacket. And I've already shown it to him, and he pretty much loves it. I think it's really cool. It's very simple, but still very stylish. So let's see what it looks like on. Ooh, maybe I want to keep it. I love the way it looks. Tell me what you think about it. Leave it in the comments below. I hope my cousin loves wearing it. This is really cool and I like this style of denim. It was actually very easy to paint on this kind of denim. But anyway, that's all for now. Make sure to check all the other content in my channel. And until next time, adios y bye. Subscribe.